One of the new president's campaign promises was to mandate masks on federal property and during travel. It goes into effect, by the way, overnight. But since there are already many mask ordinances, local and otherwise, what will really change? Steve Nielsen live tonight at Sky Harbor Airport. Steve, was this mainly trying to set a tone and a message rather than what the reality will be on the ground? Because it seems people are wearing masks already. Well, absolutely. There's a ton of people wearing masks. Everyone I talked to today said that, yes, they already have a lot of people that are traveling wearing masks. It's not that much of an issue. So if you are someone who wears a mask, you probably aren't really going to notice any changes with this. If you're someone who doesn't wear a mask, though, getting through this security checkpoint here is simply not going to happen. One of the biggest changes will be right here, the security checkpoint at airports like Sky Harbor. This is not about strong arming people or, you know, trying to force people to do something. This is really more about everybody working together to help secure the transportation system. The new federal mask mandate by the president and CDC will mean TSA agents require travelers wear masks before they can get through the checkpoint. People ask, well, then what, what's the issue? What's changed? Anyone who does not wear a mask at the airport security checkpoint will not be allowed to continue on their journey. There may be fines for unruly travelers. Sky Harbor already required masks, so travelers here didn't seem to mind. It's a good safety measure. Yeah, I mean, that's, that makes sense. You know, I'm not a huge believer in, in uh, all the frenzy about it, but, you know, I think it's a courteous thing to do. But it's not just here. The mandate affects all modes of transportation. Our riders have been awesome in terms of wearing their face coverings when necessary. Valley Metro also required face masks already because of local ordinances. The federal government is just strengthening our messaging in terms of wearing a face covering when on transit. The CDC puts the onus on drivers and conductors to not allow people on board without masks. The rule applies to all federal property. Monday, the USPS told Fox 10 they're still reviewing the guidance to see how it affects customers.